Oh, Jack. He wasn't even here today. They Aww. came in on my lunch break. That's so cute. And when I got off my lunch break, they were there to come visit me on my birthday and gave me flowers. That's so sweet. Smell how good these purple ones smell. Wow. Those are like freshly from the flower store. Mm -hmm. Like the good flower store, not just like Publix. Trader Joe's. <laughs> or Trader Joe's. Are they really from Trader Joe's? Yeah. Really? And she just put them in a mason jar. They smell like they're from a flower boutique. I know. Yeah. Mm, it smells so good. Let's put them on the table. See how pretty my flowers are on the table? Oh, so cute. Robert is giving me my birthday presents now. He says he didn't have time to wrap them because he was stuck outside. <laughs> He didn't have the key to the house. Do I have to close my eyes? Yes, close your eyes. Okay. Okay. I can open? Yeah. What you got? I needed a new one of these. I know, right? A can opener. Yay. And I got you that kind, even though I wanted the electric one, I got you that instead. I know, cause I like these kind. Mm-hmm. And who's it by? It's Pioneer. Pioneer woman. <laughs> Her can opener right now. Tell them how you have to work it. Um, I just open it and close it. Open it and close it. <laughs> and just like click, click, click. You click. like bite the can open. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when I twist this, it doesn't do anything. Oh my goodness. There you go. Coming to you all at one time instead of individually. <laughs> Let's see. Mm-hmm. And That's where do they go? So cute. In the middle of like that. Yeah. I got you one for every plate. So we have these white plates that we just put on our other white plates. But since it's spring. We can do colorful plates. There you go. What do you think it goes with Does this? that look silly with a pineapple? Oh. Mm. We'll call them tropical flowers. <laughs> what do you think, babe? I like them. All right, last present. I didn't go super crazy this year. Are you ready? Hold your hand out. There you go. Aww. I love these and you know, and you don't. I know, <laughs> but I got you one anyway. It's the angel of hope. That's right. Oh, that's so sweet. We do have hope, right, little bug? That's right. Because without hope, you wouldn't have anything. I can go with my other ones. Oh, look. Got a glimmer of hope. Mm-hmm. Like my necklace. Yeah, I like your necklace. Let me see. Isn't it so cool? It's like... She's keeping the uh, the flame going. Yep. Do you like that? I do. What's it say? Angel of hope. Each day, hope anew. Each day, hope anew. Hope really anew today, huh? Yep. <laughs> On my birthday. On your birthday. Where are you going to put it at? On the mantle. You have angel of prayer and the friendship one. Yep. I think Brooke gave you that, right? Yep. Brooke gave me that one for my birthday. Um, no, when we moved into the house. Yep. Where do you want to put that one at? This one's on. <laughs> you like it? Okay. If I'm so slow, why am I in the car before you, huh? Why am I in the car before you? Huh? I'm in the car before you. I'm ready to go. <laughs> She's going to be aggravated with me now. Come on, slow pants. I'm not. I had to shut, I had to lock the door and bring you your shoes. <laughs> Don't hit my car. I'm trying not to. So hungry. Are you hangry? Yes. <clears throat> so here we go, guys. This is real life. This is what I deal with every single day. All right, tell them what we're doing. Going to Moe's. Why are we going to Moe's? 
because I have a free burrito because it's my birthday. And it's Monday, so I get a half price burrito. It's really Not dark. Half price. Oh, how, how much is it? Six dollars? I don't remember. I don't know. We're leaving Moe's now and we're gonna go over to TJ Maxx because I need a um, coffee grinder because a while back we got a French press from TJ Maxx that I love. But I need a coffee grinder and I'm hoping that they have one and then we can get some coffee, but voila, I can use my French press. So, <sighs> Love Bug does not like coffee. I don't like coffee at all. So guys, we just had a very exciting phone call back at home and I cannot tell you all the details about it, but just know that it is really probably the best phone call we've ever gotten in our life. So, think about what it might could be, but I can't tell you any details, it's a secret, but subscribe because you're gonna wanna see what happens. guys about something that has changed with us recently some decisions of ours that have changed it's a big deal it's a real big deal right Lobo? it is a real big deal um it's something like we've had separate mindsets oh, okay. on for like our entire life and then now our mindsets have changed. So yeah, it's a big deal. Whether or not to find out the gender of our baby. What about you guys? Have you guys ever found out the gender of your baby or have you guys all like, um, yeah, of course I'm gonna find out the gender or you're like, no, I wanna be surprised. We always said that it would be a surprise that we would not find out what we were having. But doing foster care, I'm, it's been a surprise every time we didn't know a boy or a girl until and, like the day they show up so and we've gotten both yeah and we've been talking and it's like okay we've done the surprise thing and by this point at this point it's gonna be the surprise is gonna be us getting pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's yeah. gonna be the surprise. That's gonna be the surprise. We want to know now so that we can plan ahead and we can be like, oh, this is a cute outfit, I wanna buy it. Instead of, oh, this is a cute boy outfit, but I don't know if I should buy it or not because we're trying to stay gender neutral. So, mm -hmm. yeah. My mom never, my mom did not find out with me and my aunt, did not find out with any of her kids. She has five um, biological kids. She did not find out with any of her biological kids except for the last one because she had had four boys in a row and she was really, really wanting a girl. So she was like, she found out that that was a girl. Let us know what you think. Do you guys always find out or have you found out or not? I don't know. All right, guys, and one more time, if you have not yet seen our t-shirts, they look like this. They're pretty awesome. Robert has on his. Um, we are selling them um, through a Teespring campaign, so we will leave the link below. Definitely check them out. All of the proceeds go towards our IVF, and yeah, check them out. I really hope you guys like them. Don't forget to give it a, give a little, little, little. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a happy, friendly comment below. And we'll see you guys next time.